summer movie season is officially here. All right, give yourself a clap. Come on, let me hear an applause. All right. Yeah, woohoo! And Iron Man is a perfect way to start out that summer. And it does show promise for the upcoming movies that have a lot of hype. Because unlike most of the movies that last summer showed, Spider-Man 3 did not live up to the hype. And Iron Man does. I know a lot of people weren't really sure about Robert Downey Jr. as the title role. I'm proud to say that I was really surprised. Well, I didn't doubt him. I just... I didn't know he was going to be that good. He was perfect for this role, and I really can't think of anyone that could do better. I think a lot of people just weren't sure because, really, let's face it, he's not the obvious choice, you know. This, we, we want a macho, handsome guy that's been in these kind of movies before. He's a more sophisticated actor. A lot of fanboys maybe not be that in touch with his work, but he is a great actor. So I'm really happy that they chose him. He did an excellent job. He had great chemistry with Gwyneth Paltrow and Terrence Howard and Albert Brooks and everyone else involved with this film. He put a lot of personality and humor into this movie. And there is a lot of humor, and I was very impressed with how that large amount of humor did not take the movie off focus and did not stop us from taking it seriously. Unlike Spider-Man 3, I'm sorry if I'm picking on it, but that's one of the big reasons why this movie did not work that much for me. It tried so hard to be cutesy, just after a while, we just couldn't get, we just couldn't take it seriously anymore, and it was over with. This one... A few of the jokes kind of got killed, but it was still pretty funny, and still, whenever it tried to get serious, drama, action, whatever, we were still in touch with it, and we could still take it seriously, and that was great. The action scenes are awesome. I do expect some arguments over if there was enough of them or not. They're really... You might expect a lot more action, but I'm not going to take points off that at all. When he was unsuited, it was awesome. When he was sued... When he had the suit on, it was great. You know, the dialogue is awesome. When he's off the suit, so it can keep the movie from getting dull when the action is not, when things aren't blowing up and he's not flying around. Because the chemistry between the characters are there and it's able to keep the movie afloat and keep us tied into it. Um, Iron Man is fun. It is not stupid, silly fun. It is smart and intense fun. The humor, like I said, is very well focused and it can keep us in touch with the movie without taking off track and turning it into a dumb comedy. Like I said, Robert Downey Jr. is awesome and brings a lot of energy into his role, which affects the movie entirely. I do expect an awesome franchise taken off from this movie. It's a great setup and the last, the very last line in the movie does hint and give a great setup for an awesome franchise and some good sequels, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Overall, I give Iron Man a 9.5 out of 10.